Okay, the insert function dialog box is probably by clicking the insert function button directly to the left of the address bar. You'll notice that the insert function dialog box has three fields. The search for a function text box, the select a function category list, and the select a function list. The search for a function text box. Here you can enter a description of the function you are looking for and Excel will list the functions in most relevant order. The select a function category list. Here, you can narrow your search for a function down into particular function categories. The select a function list. This is a list of functions which is determined by the function category. To find and insert a function into a cell, simply choose your category and then select the list of functions for the one you need. As a tip, when you select functions from a functions list, Excel provides a description of the function directly under the function list. Once you've located the function you need, simply select the function and click OK and the function arguments dialog box will appear. The function arguments dialog box. The function arguments dialog box varies depending on the function you are inserting. Remember that there are different types of function arguments. Therefore, the function arguments dialog box adapts to the function you're inserting. For example, if you insert the sum function, your arguments would be an indeterminate number of arguments. The function arguments box for the sum function initially appears with two text boxes for you to enter your arguments, number one and number two. However, since the sum function can consist of an infinite number of arguments, more text boxes will appear once you enter arguments into the last text box. For example, if we were to click in the text box for argument number two, a text box for argument number three would appear and so on. In each argument box, you can enter a literal number like five, a cell address such as D7, a range of cells such as D10 through D13, a calculation consisting of operators, literal values, and or cell references such as 5 plus D11. Another function such as the product function, or you can enter a combination of all as a single argument. There are other functions that only require a single argument. An example of this would be the square root function, which finds the square root of a number. The function dialog box for this function only has a single argument titled number. This is because you are only able to find the square root of a number. In the argument box, you can enter a literal number, a cell reference that contains a numeric value, a calculation using operators, literal numbers, and or cell references, or other functions. For the square root function, you cannot simply enter a range of cells. If you want to find the square root of a range of cells, you will need to enter the range of cells as a function so Excel knows how you would like to calculate that range of cells. By simply entering in a range of cells, you are not telling Excel how you would like that range of cells to be calculated. Other functions require a fixed number of arguments. A good example would be the IF function. The IF function requires three arguments no less and no more. The three arguments are the logical test, the value if true, and the value if false. If you leave an argument blank, Excel will treat it as a zero. In the logical test argument box, you can only refer to a cell or enter a numeric value. For value if true and value if false, you can enter a numeric value, refer to a cell, enter a formula, enter a function, or enter text in closing quotations. You cannot enter a range of cells. With the examples I've provided, you should be pretty familiar with the function dialog box. Remember that it is important to know the functions you are using and to experiment and practice to gain a better understanding.